In 2007, the first iPhone revolutionized the world of mobile phones. Before iPhones, most of the phone's case was occupied by the keyboard. Well, if the screen diagonal reached 2.5 inches, the control was carried out with using the joystick. Of course, there were touchscreen smartphones, but the operating systems on them were so overloaded and complex that without a stylus it was impossible to control them. And January 9, 2007, the date of the presentation of the first iPhone, undoubtedly, this is the day who changed the world forever. People groaned and applauded while standing simply because how simple and elegant you can unlock your iPhone. People were crazy about the multi-touch screen, were to enlarge a photo you just need to to make all of us the already familiar gesture, when, as before, it was necessary to click on the plus sign or minus and drag the photo to the right place. That a full-fledged version of the site is loaded on Safari, in short, then it was something incredible. The main feature of this smartphone is a 3.5-inch multi-touch display and revolutionary new interface. The phone didn't have a front camera and the 2-megapixel rear camera only took photos, the iPhone could not record video. The phone was over a centimeter thick, thicker than the new M1 iMac, shipped with 4, 8 and 16 gigabytes of permanent memory and 128 megabytes of RAM. Prices started from $500 for a model with 4 GB of memory and a 2-year contract. And then Apple started releasing iPhones every year with absolutely minor updates, even more boring than now. 2008, iPhone 3G, the first Apple smartphone. The main feature of which was 3G support and a new design with a thicker, scratched plastic case. Imagine if now Apple only showed the iPhone 12 with 5G and a new design. Without a completely new camera, LiDAR, Apple Pura, Dolby Vision, Ceramic Shield, MagSafe, improved moisture protection. And now they complain that iPhones are barring to update, yes. iPhone 3 grams became the first iPhone with the App Store. A GPS sensor for navigation appeared, the phone already had 8 or 16 gigabytes of permanent memory. 256 megabytes operational and cost from $600. The camera remains the same at 2 MP. The iPhone camera was significantly updated only in 2009, with the release of the iPhone 3GS, now. This is a whole 3MP, and not 2, as it was before, and now the iPhone has learned how to shoot video. In the days of the first iPhone, the phones were shooting video quietly, but it took Apple 3 years to implement this sophisticated technology in your smartphone. This is to the question about 120 Hz, which for some reason Apple did not add up to 13 iPhone. When on Android it was a long time ago. This company policy has always been. Since the video takes up a lot of free space. There was a version of the phone for Fabulous at that time 32 GB. The letter S in the name of the phone meant speed, speed, there was a much faster processor. This, coupled with the new white color attracted the interest of many buyers. Also, the new iPhone boasted the ability to copy and paste text, compass and improved data protection. The first major update was iPhone 4 in 2010. Completely new glass design, retina display with crazy resolution at the time. It was with four iPhones that Apple began to use the processor of its own. Production Previous models were equipped with processors from Samsung. For the first time in an iPhone, a 0.3 MP front camera appeared, the rear camera was also improved. Now it is 5 megapixel and can shoot 720p video, a flash has appeared. A phone EOS is renamed to iOS, FaceTime video calls appear there. It was the first iPhone with micro SIM, previously, full size SIM cards were used in iPhones. In 2010, the iPhone 4 took the first place in sales of all phones of that time. And this was the last smartphone that Steve Jobs presented. In 2011, 
Tim Cook began to present the technique. A gyroscope appeared in the phone, which could be used for racing games. For example, turning the machine by tilting rather than pressing buttons. The memory is still 8. 16 or 32 gigabytes, but the RAM is now 512 megabytes. iPhone 4 seconds, 2011, the letter S in the title hid the main. Smartphone, Siri support. What is already in every iPhone, iPad. Watches and even Apple computers were the main chip, because of which they bought a new smartphone. It then seemed like some kind of space technology. Ask the phone by voice for the dollar rate, the route to a certain place. Or just scoffing at Siri with stupid questions, in general it was fun. The rear camera has been updated, now it is 8MP and can shoot video in 1080p. Because of this, in addition to 8, 16 and 32 gigabytes models, a 64 gigabytes model appeared. RAM remained the same, at 512 megabytes but the processor was updated. iPhone 5, 2012, the first iPhone with a half-inch enlarged screen diagonal, the screen became taller. Not wider, but still I remember those conversations when people called the 4-inch iPhone 5. Shovel and did not want to switch to it from previous iPhones just because of the size. I can imagine how people would go nuts if they were told that in 8-9 years the iPhone will have a 6.7 inch display, almost two times larger than the iPhone 4S. The fifth iPhone was a good upgrade, there was a completely new design, super thin, super light, very beautiful phone back then, the all aluminum case looked awesome. A new, more compact and reversible lightning connector appeared, which also caused booming, all the iPhone fans who had to buy new accessories for the new item. To free up even more free space on your phone for new technologies. Apple for the first time switched to nano SIM cards, even smaller. Added support for 4G LTE, the resolution of the front camera was increased to 1.2 MP. Now she could shoot 720p video, the rear camera was also improved. Put an even faster processor. 1 GB of RAM instead of 512 MB, as it was before. Well, they removed the 8 GB model, only 3 models remained on sale, for 16, 32 and 64 GB. 2013, iPhone 5 seconds, the main feature of the smartphone hiding behind the letter S was security. Sequare, this phone first introduced the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. Just think. The phone is a super personal device, in the phone per person can be found. Much more information than he has at home, but before the iPhone 5S, people did not even think about it and often they locked the door home with a key, but did not put the password on the iPhone, since entering it. Every time it was a torment, and a gadget with a password in those days looked somehow strange and suspicious. There was a gold color, instead of a black iPhone, now they began to sell gray. Slightly improved the camera by adding a dual flash. Which selected the temperature of the light so that in the photo with the flash there was a perfect white balance. Now it is possible to shoot slow motion videos 720p at 120 fps. Not only did the new processor go from 32 to 64 bit, it was the world's first 64-bit smartphone. So they also added an M7 co-processor, which counted the steps and distance traveled as the background. At the same presentation as the iPhone 5S, Apple also introduced the iPhone 5C, which is. There was the same 5, only in multicolored plastic cases and with an improved battery. For some reason, people thought that the letter C in the name of the phone means cheap, that is, cheap budget, but in fact, the main motto of the iPhone 5C was colorful, that is, multicolored. It was the first youth smartphone of the company, but users still did not enter it, which is a pity. There were only two versions of memory for 16 and 32 GB, while five iPhones, let me remind you. There was also a 64 gig version. The sixth iPhone, 2014. The most minor update, 
the phone was almost no different. From last year's iPhone 5S, there was only a new design with increased screen diagonals. 4.7 and 5.5, it was the thinnest iPhone in the world. The only significant update to the phone's camera is the appearance of optical video stabilization, and then only on the Plus version of the phone. Well, as always, a more modern processor, stronger glass, and for the first time there was a model with 128 gigabytes. In 2015, the iPhone 6S comes out, in which the cameras have been significantly pumped. Now the main camera is 12 MP, and the front camera is 5 MP, there is a flash on the front. Live Photos Technology, 4K Video Shooting. Touch ID was improved, now it worked almost instantly, many times faster and more accurate. 3D Touch appeared, a screen that perceived the force of pressing the screen. Improved Vibration Motor Taptic Engine, the Hello Siri function now worked even then. When the iPhone is not connected to the charger, and also the new color is rose gold. As always, the processor is faster and now the phone has 2 GB of RAM. The iPhone 6, 6 Plus lacked RAM, it was felt. In 2016, but already in the fall, Apple introduced around the world the legendary 7th iPhone, which is still used by many. For the first time a phone had such a rich palette of colors, silver, gold, pink, matte black, glossy black that just scratched the air. The phone first appeared waterproof, because of this I even had to make a button. Home is fully touch sensitive, and the tap feedback is very nicely mimicked by the Taptic engine. Stereo sound appeared, the plus version of the phone was the first to introduce a dual camera with double optical zoom and portrait mode. The front camera has been improved, now it has become 7 MP. As always, the processor was improved. This smartphone had four memory versions, 32, 64, 128 and 256 gigabytes. The amount of RAM increased to 3 gigabytes, and also in this model, ditched the 3.5 mm headphone jack and moved entirely to the wireless future. 8. The iPhone was such a boring iPhone that at the presentation on September 12, 2017, it took less time than the Apple Watch minor update. A slightly better camera, a portrait lighting function appeared in the Plus version of the phone, a little louder. Speakers, a labor tone display, wireless charging and only two versions of memory capacity, 64 or 256 gigabytes. And it's understandable why the iPhone 8 turned out to be boring, because right away, after the presentation of the 8th iPhone, Tim Cook took the stage and said that we have one more thing. He stated that the team had been developing the iPhone for 10 years, was scattering words. That the iPhone 10 is the future of smartphones. That the first iPhone was a revolution for a decade to come, completely changed the world. And that the 10th iPhone will also set the tone for the rest of smartphone makers for years to come. Actually, this is how it happened. It had all the chips of the iPhone 8, plus a completely new one. Framless design, this level of framelessness other manufacturers were able to achieve only a few years later. iPhone 10 features a stunning old display, revolutionary face unlock system. ID, which was hundreds of times more reliable and more convenient than Touch ID, almost no one has such systems. Implemented in my smartphones, because it is expensive and easier to give the user a scanner under the screen. Or unlocking by face photo than a full-fledged face scanner. There was a portrait mode on the front camera, and of course, animated Coco. After the appearance of the small iPhone 10, it became obvious to everyone that next year Apple should to release the iPhone 10s with a larger screen diagonal. In fact, this is how it happened. In 2018 Apple launches iPhone XS and XS Max with the largest screen iPhone ever. As much as 6.5 inches. As always, we upgraded the cameras, added smarter and the ability to change. Bokeh level in portrait mode, 
as well as the ability to shoot video with stereo sound. Better processor, new, gold color, 4 GB of RAM and up to 512 GB of internal memory. In terms of functionality and characteristics, the two versions are absolutely identical. Differed only in display diagonal and autonomy. 6.1 inch LSD display with extra bezels and vibrant body colors. Actually, the iPhone XR turned out to be Apple's most popular flagship in 2018. Year and outperformed the iPhone XS and XS Max. The entire line of 11 iPhones, including 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, became a logical continuation of the XS line. There was an ultra-wide-angle camera, which was sorely lacking, night mode, deep fusion, audio zoom, in the Pro version of the phone, a crazy screen with Dolby Atmos support, significantly. Improved the autonomy of the entire line at once, finally, the green color in the Pro version of the phone. And it seems that there are few chips on paper, but in life these innovations turned out to be super important. And now even the iPhone XS Max looks very outdated without them. Suddenly for everyone, on April 15, 2020, the second generation iPhone SE is released. Roughly speaking, a processor from an iPhone 11 was shoved into the case of an 8 iPhone. A slightly more modern camera and... everything? A very strange update, in 2020 to see the old one. The frame design in the new smartphone was at least strange, the smartphone did not have enough battery. But on October 13, 2020, they presented an awesome 12 iPhone, which changed the form factor of the devices. We now have iPhone 12 and 12 mini, smartphones with 5.4 and 6.1 inch displays. In the iPhone 12 lineup, the younger model has been updated the most. The entire line of smartphones received the best old displays protected by first class. Glass ceramic shield, with it you cannot be afraid to break your smartphone without a case. Added support for minus 5 grams, video shooting in HDR Dolby Vision, night mode on all cameras. MagSafe accessories. But most of all the camera chips got the iPhone 12 Pro Max, there you and LiDAR for night. Portraits and fast focusing in low light, and Apple Pro Raw. And 2.5x optical zoom. In general, full stuffing. The main feature of 12 Pro Max, of course, became the enlarged camera and matrices. For even more outstanding shots at night, the new blue and of course the prices. Finally, the very latest, 13 iPhones, received a new camera design, reduced banks, brighter screen, significantly larger battery, an improved camera with a new sensor, which receives up to two times more light. The entire line has received image stabilization with a matrix shift, like last year's iPhone 12 Pro Max. Movie mode, roughly speaking portrait mode for video shooting, photo presets. Advanced algorithms. The professional iPhone line also received a 120Hz dynamic promotion display. New Sky Blue, 3x optical zoom, macro photography, video shooting in Apple Pro's video. And the main gift from Apple, at the start of sales, this is the first iPhone in recent years. Which did not rise in price much.